हेलो फ्रेंड इन टूडेज क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन म्यूटेबल एंड इम्यूटेबल स्ट्रिंग एज वेल एज वी विल सी व्हाट एग्जैक्टली द मीनिंग ऑफ म्यूटेबल एंड इम्यूटेबल इन द जावा सो वी स्टार्ट विद द टूडेज ट्यूटोरियल एंड स्ट्रिंग इज इम्यूटेबल बाय डिफॉल्ट इन जावा वॉट एवर द स्ट्रिंग यू डिक्लेयर दैट इज इम्यूटेबल इम्यूटेबल मीन्स द स्ट्रिंग cannot be changed suppose in example we have the string whose value is java it means that string will not be changed suppose you are using concatenate method for changing this string object value so here suppose you are writing s1 dot concatenate with the rule so it means that this value will be java rules because concatenate method means it is used to add the strings it add the string to the original string value so according to uh, general observation the output should come java rules so if you use the output statement like that so your output will be s1 yes refers to java rules but uh, when you run this program you get the output s1 yes referred to java only why because whatever the value will be refer by s1 yes it cannot be changed original value cannot be changed that's why it is known as immutable so question comes in your mind if you want to change that string value because some cases you have to change the original string value you have to modify it you have to edit this so in such a case you have to use the concept of mutable string and for getting this concept you have to use string buffer class suppose by using string buffer class you are giving initial value hello and now i want to change that object value that is hello so sb value is suppose hello and if you write sb dot append so this string value will be added here it means the sb value will be hello java so in the case if you print this value in the output statement then you get the output hello java so here our original value is changing and it is changed because of string buffer class so that is known as the that is known as a mutable screen sorry mutable string so mutable string means what if the original value of the string that you want to change or it can be changed by using the specific class so that class is known as a mutable class so if you are able to change the initial string value that is what exactly the concept of mutable string so we have one more class for getting this concept we have the string builder class it will work like string buffer having the initial value hello we are changing this value and adding the value java so once you run this output statement you get the same output hello java so here we are changing the initial string value by using string builder class so that is known as the mutable class so here we are changing the initial value that's why it is known as the mutable string concept so i hope friend you understood what is mutable and what is immutable mutable means the string value original string value can be changed immutable means it cannot be changed so that is only the difference between these two so in the coming tutorial uh, we will see about the string builder string builder function string buffer class so all these things we will see in the coming tutorial so i hope friend you understood this tutorial thanks for watching thank you